Okay, so for section four, this is going to be experimenting with lighting in our scene. So the first thing that I want to do is I want this to be a really dark scene to get some more intense shadows. So what you can do is click here on this tab right here, which is the world. This will give you some options to change general scenes, uh, general properties of your scene. So you'll see color here. It's hard to see because it's the same as the box, but if you click on that, you can change that color to either very light or very dark. So I'm going to make it as dark as possible, pure black. And then you'll see that now we have some um, really intense shadows going on. So if we zoom out or exit the camera view, you'll remember that Blender comes with a light. So we're just going to work with this light to add some lighting to the scene. If you click down here, in the properties, you'll now see this light button. You click on that, we'll see the different properties of our light. I think this is a good, this default power of a thousand will be perfect for this scene. So I'm gonna move around the light to get it to the spot that I want. So I'm gonna press Z to look at it from the top, go to my move, and I'm just gonna move it so that it's, you can see the lighting change in real time on our object as I do that. I'm gonna move it out just a little bit, maybe to about here. That looks nice. Now you can change the type of light that this is. You can make it a sun, which is just gonna add a lot of light. It's gonna blow out the scene. So if you wanted to add a sun, this should be closer to maybe one, but let's keep it at a thousand. You can make this a spotlight. This is good for just focusing on one single element, highlighting a protein on top of a larger complex possibly. But I'm gonna choose area. Now this is just uh, as if you had a perfectly flat square light that you would shine around. And so if we look at where this is from the Z axis, you'll see that it sends out rays in a specific direction. So right now the rays are heading behind our object. So what you can do is you can press rotate and we can make it so the rays are more in front. I'll move it out a little bit. Again, you can see the shadows moving. And then I'm gonna do rotate from this direction. To get the rays so they go through the through the protein. And if you were to look at it from the scene, it's already looking a lot better. So the next thing we can do is, now we just have light in the front. Sometimes it's nice to have light coming from multiple angles. So what I'm gonna do is press Shift D, that's for duplicate, and now we're duplicating a light. That's an exact copy of the other one. So I'm gonna put one right behind the protein maybe right about here. And I'm gonna rotate it so that it's shining at the back of the protein. And I want it to be kind of on the same plane, on the same plane as the protein so that the light shines through it, kind of making it glow. So I'm rotating just to get the angle pointed through. And then if you zoom in, this is kind of what we have so far and you can move this just a tad. There we go. Okay, so that ends the experience, experimenting with lighting section.